English with Billy Bob. Question tags, another great subject. What are question tags? Well, question tags are short questions at the end of a statement. There are several reasons why we might do this. Overall, we use question tags to encourage a response from another person. We use question tags to confirm something that is either true or not true. Further speculation is another reason for this type of grammar. It's extremely common in spoken English. We can also use question tags to imply an offer. Question tags are formed with an auxiliary or modal verb. Positive statements are followed by a negative tag, while negative statements are followed by a positive tag. If your statement is a true question, your intonation rises. If you know the answer or share your opinion, your intonation falls. Here are some confirmation question tag examples. You like pizza, don't you? You see, I know you like pizza, right? It's not a true question. Now listen again. You like pizza, don't you? You'll notice how my intonation has come down, not up. So if it went up, it would be because I don't know, you see. So listen, hey, you like pizza, don't you? You see, if my intonation rises, it's probably a true question. Here's another one. You don't like pizza, do you? I know you don't like pizza. You see, my intonation went down just a little, yes? It definitely did not go up because I know something about you. Hey, you're a happy person, aren't you? You see how my intonation stayed the same? I know you are happy. Hey, you aren't happy, are you? You see, I know something about you. These are all examples for confirmation. Here are a couple more. Hey, she's been to Italy hasn't she? You see, I know something about this lady. Hey, she hasn't been to Italy, has she? You see, again, I know she hasn't gone, she's never been. I know something about her. Hey, you can't drive a car, can you? Well, maybe because I saw you drive a car and you didn't drive your car very well. But for sure, I know something about you, right? So listen again. Hey, you can't drive a car, can you? How about this one? Hey, you can drive a car, can't you? You see? So you've proven something. You've shown me I maybe I'm in your car. Maybe you've just learned how to drive. Or maybe you prevented an accident by very carefully driving out of the way of another car. Something like that, you see? Time for a short. What's a short? A grammar fact. What is passive voice? Passive voice is used when the focus is on the object. How about future speculation question tags? Here are a couple. Hey, you won't fail the exam, will you? Now, here's a question. Question is, am I speaking to you because I don't know? Am I speaking to you because I'm trying to build your confidence? Uh, maybe it's just because I'm not sure if you'll pass the exam or not. So let me do that again. Hey, you won't pass the exam, will you? Maybe you didn't study enough. Something like that, right? Now listen. You won't fail the exam, will you? You see how my intonation went up? I'm really not sure. I'm not sure maybe because it's all about the future and we can't predict the future. Okay, listen. The weather's going to be warm tomorrow, isn't it? You see, maybe the weatherman told me that. I'm speculating, yes? Listen to this one. The weather's going to be warm tomorrow, isn't it? You see? Again, I'm still not sure. And now I'm asking you a question. Maybe you know. All right, here's another one. Hey, you're going to work tonight, aren't you? You see how my question tag went up? That's because this is all about the future, you see? So I don't know the future. In this case, I'm talking about the future. I don't know for sure, right? So listen again. This is about something I don't know. Hey, you are going to work tonight, aren't you? You see how my intonation went up in that example.
Hey, the economy will improve, won't it? You see how my intonation went up? I hope that the economy will improve. What about those offers? Okay, this is another great part of English. Question tags are a great way to speak with someone in a very polite way. Okay, listen. Hey, you'd like to eat out tonight, wouldn't you? You see how my intonation went down, right? This is an offer to go out. So listen again. Hey, you'd like to eat out tonight, wouldn't you? And you might say, yes, oh, I would love that. Okay, let's go, yes? All right, here's another one. Hey, you'd like to watch a movie tonight, wouldn't you? In this case, I am offering you a movie. I'm offering the opportunity to watch a movie. Hey, you'd like to stay for dinner, wouldn't you? You see, this is a very polite way to offer dinner to someone. Ah, you'd like some dessert, wouldn't you? You see? So again, my intonation's not going up. My intonation is actually staying the same or going down because these are all offers, yes? These are all general ideas for question tags. Just remember, most of the time, it's not a true question. If it is about the future and I really don't know and I'm asking a question, your intonation will go up and then it becomes a true question. Have fun with English. Deal. Time for dinner. Yes, dear. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel.